we've got a huge rainbow behind us, which is probably a good sign. So we woke up at the crack of dawn. Not really, sun's already up, but we're heading out to get some Spanish mackerel today. For real. Sun's just risen over there, and we're heading out now. New boat ramp, so hopefully the trip won't be as long, but got Brooke with me. Oh, it's gonna be a good day. Fishermen. Wow, everyone's on the wharf fishing for squid and stuff. That's sick. Sun's up. It's glassing off. Everything's lining up. This is perfect. What? That's incredible. All right, Mark is up here. Alrighty guys, I'd say it's like 6.30, sun's up, and here's the first pole. We're coming in slowly now, but there's a boat on our tail. I thought we'd be the only ones here. We're gonna come in nice and slow, and I'm gonna get the jig in. We're gonna see if we can get ourselves a mackerel. If you saw the mackie I caught in the last video, I was using one of those little slugs, but this time I got 30 gram one, and we're just gonna shoot this around. There's one of two beacons here. Um, that hold the mackerel, so yeah, we'll see what happens. They're not huge, they're just bay mackerels, but cut that. First cast. Yeah? Yeah, that's it. Alrighty, I thought we'd film the first cast, but yeah, here we go. Got one of these gold little slugs on, Halco 30 gram, I think. And we're just gonna keep fishing here until we hook up. So fingers crossed. We got company already. Guys, I'm literally frothing, it's glassed off. And I just saw right there in the light, two massive tuna jump out. Far out. We're here for mackerel, but I'll take tuna. They're out. <laughs> oh my God. I saw the tuna were. Right, just letting it out so it hits the bottom and then I'm gonna rip it back. <sighs> this thing casts like butter. I love this rod so much. The bloody uh, TD Hyper. All right, I just got a hit. I'm sending it back down. All right, stick it right there. I was ripping it up. And it just hit it and dropped it. Ooh, I'm getting excited. <laughs> oh, come on. It just came off. It's a good gold one that we're meant to be using all day. I've got one more of those twisty ones. It's only a 20 gram though. But I got that. Oh, I'm just gonna give that a try. See what happens. No way that's coming off. Oh yeah. I feel like getting my snorkel and just picking all the all the Halco twists off that pole, <laughs> filling up my tackle box. Oh. All right, no luck at the first marker. I got two hits, but um, nothing happened. Right, we're gonna head to the second marker, which is 1K. Up this way, north, and um, yeah, there's a few boats on it, so it might be a bit more luck. I'm gonna head there now. My first fish on. <laughs> yeah. I think it's tiny. Yeah, okay, look so at that. You just. <laughs> oh, there he is. Ooh, what? what the heck? <laughs> you greedy little bastard. I thought I had a Mackie on guys, but uh, no, nah, just that little guy. Get him back in there. Oh, buddy. There we go. Right, we hooked another thing. I don't think this is deep at all. Oh, dolphin's right there. It's another one of those little bastards. Oh, 
freaking fell. The dolphins. Oh, <laughs> Alright, <laughs> these guys are fighting real heavy. Maybe the dolphin ones. There they are. Oh my god. <laughs> Here, dolphins. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Brooke, I think we got a mackerel. Yes. 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 <laughs> this is a much bigger fish. I see it's coming up to mackerel. Is it? Yeah, it's a mackerel. Got it. Wow. Got it in the mouth. You got the sauce. You want the head cone? Mm -hmm. That's alright. Wow. Oh, <laughs> wow. he's not hooked well. Get in there. You ready? Yes. I think that's illegal. It's giant. It is giant. Oh goodness. Wow. Let me get the hook out. Want me to hold it? He's way bigger. God, I hope this guy's over 60. Wow. Okay. You ready to measure? Yeah. Oh, please, Gobby. He's 60. Is he? We got a legal size mackerel. Now, I'm pretty sure this is. I think I know which one this is. I just need my phone for a second. Okay, guys, so I've been struggling to determine the difference between a school mackerel or a spotted mackerel, but this guy goes 60 centimeters. And the uh, the legal limit for a school mackerel is 50 centimeters. Legal limit for a spotted is 60. 50 and 60, this guy's over 60, so whether it's a school or a spotted, it's a legal fish. I'm gonna measure it one more time, just to make sure. Mouth on zero, tail, yep. Oh, it's past he 60. Had... That is a legal size fish right there. Oh my gosh. That is wow, big. that's my first legal size mackerel. I knew we were gonna get one today. All right, let's just get it back out there. Let's keep going. Yeah. We're on again. Yeah. We're on again. Oh, I see him right there. Oh, I think he's small. Oh, look at that. I think that's a little. Bring it in. Ah. It's not heavy. Just focus on getting it in. Oh, he's a little. That's just a little. Oh, it is a little mackerel. I gotta chuck him back there. Yeah. Oh, oh, there he goes. Just unhooked himself. Yeah. Well done. Just another little baby, guys. We'll put him back. See you, mate. Oh. Man. Oh, he shot off. He shot off like a bullet. <laughs> oh, that was a, well done. That was a fun one. Yeah. Oh, oh, I got another hit. No way. They're here. They're here. They are here and they're feeding. Oh, no. All right, this is it. Here comes the rain. You ready? Oh, damn it. We hold on. Is that? Oh. oh, it is big. Here, chuck it in your mouth. Keep it this way. No, I don't think it's legal. No, it's just a little guy. Wait for it. I'll bring the mouth around. Ready? And there we go. Good stuff. Oh, I don't want it to fall down there. <laughs> Holy. Oh. Uh, what you, oh. There he goes. Hilarious. <laughs> what a crazy one. <laughs> oh, mate, just hooked on. And a shark torpedo to his last fish. Alright, guys, it's a bit of a cloudy day, unfortunately, but it's been epic. It just glassed off, and we got. Uh, we got that mackerel, which was the sickest thing ever. I'm so glad I got my first like legal size mackerel. But I wanted to quickly tell you 
the other bloke that was fishing, his rod went out the back, and I think it was a mackerel. Anyway, it got sharked pretty quickly, but this bull shark just busted out of the water at top speed, just straight up and like spinning, like just like a tornado out of the water. So high, it would have been a meter and a half minimum. I just could not believe it, and it was right in front of our eyes. Obviously, the camera wasn't filming. It was a freak kind of thing. I don't think I don't know if I'll ever see something like that again, but that was incredible. I thought I'd let you guys know. Anyway, we're coming up to the spot where I spooked the squid last time. I got a got a jig on here with a smaller uh, smaller rod, and it's just up ahead here where this bank is. Alrighty, the bank's just out there. We're coming in now, and it should get shallow pretty quick. We should see a bunch of weed. All right, I can see now. We got a bad glare, so I'm not going to be able to spot the squid. Okay, last time I could spot the squid, but it's a bit harder now. I might just do a few jigs and see what happens. It looks squiddy. Squiddy, squiddy. Let's see what happens. Do you see any? No. <gasps> Alright guys, so when you have your birthdays and you send the, you know, the big 50 or the big, what's that, 30? No, what is he? I think that's a 3. And uh, when you shoot these up into the sky, they end up just coming down into the ocean. So, um, yeah, that's not good. We'll take this back. God. Okay. Brooke's scared of balloons, but... Oh. And that's how you kill the turtles, guys. Yeah. I don't like that. Chuck it in there. We're on our way back now, so it's been an awesome day fishing. Um, but it looks like we're going to get smashed by the rain. But we'll head back now. And I knew that rainbow at the start of the day meant something, so... We caught a rainbow fish. We caught an awesome fish. We caught a few undersized ones that we've got to let back go. Let go back, let back go. <laughs> let go back into the water. And we saved, potentially saved the turtle. So yeah, successful mission. No squid, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hit it, we're about to get smashed by this. Kookaburras are going crazy over there, but we've just set up the kitchen. I'm down here at the creek. You probably recognize this from a lot of different episodes. Here's the beautiful mackerel we caught. Real nice fish. All right, so I'm down in the kitchen with Brooke. She's gonna help taste test. Hey guys. <laughs> yep, she's behind the camera. And um, we're just gonna take one fillet off and then I got something else I wanna try too. I'm gonna come down the backbone with a real sharp knife. Now the thing is, if I do a dodgy filleting job, that's not gonna be the worst thing in the world because I'll show you what we do with that wasted meat, how to turn it into something. So we come down as best we can. Stick the knife in the back there. And then we're just gonna run it back up the backbone. All the way up. Oh, and the gut just fell out. <laughs> and there we have it. One huge, man, I don't even think we're gonna be able to eat all that. No way. So I'm gonna keep the rest of this fish for the family, the other fillet, cause we got enough here for today. But before we do that, if you come in and look, there's a lot of leftover meat on this fish here that I've missed with my dodgy filleting job. So I'm gonna show you what to do with that. Get a spoon and we're gonna come in and we're gonna scrape these extra bits off. Doesn't matter what size, what shape, just get it off. And if you come and look, see how much meat's there? And then we bring this through and it all just comes off like that. And we chuck it on this plate. Same to the underside here. Getting all that excess meat off. We're not gonna waste a thing. That's just bone now. And uh, the only other meat's on the other side, but we're gonna save that for the family. So I'll chuck it back in the, uh, in the ice. That's so cool. Yeah, I sound all professional, but I have no idea what I'm doing. It's just working out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not meant to say that. Bit of soy sauce. All right, pour that in. That's ready to go. It's raw fish known as sushimi you can do it with tuna as well but they do it with mackerel i'm gonna try just a little bit now but then we'll save it for the end so dip in the soy sauce you have to try that brooke you have to try that <laughs> it melts in your mouth that is so delicious <laughs> we'll keep that to the side and i'll quickly show you what to do with this extra fillet so if you come in close, mackerel have like a pin bone. So we want to cut 
each side of that pin bone. Wow. That's the pin bone in the fish. Most uh, pelagic fish have that, I'm pretty sure. So we'll leave that for the crabs. And now this is ready to go. So we're not gonna eat it with the skin. What we're gonna do is cut it into bite size steaks. So we're just gonna start back here and we just, <laughs> oh no, that didn't work. All right, that's more sashimi. <laughs> and then cut the meat off the skin like that. So there's a bite piece there, another bite piece. We do that with the whole fish. They're a bit, bit better sizes there. That's sort of what we want. So keep it nice and thick. Come down, slice it off the skin, and it should break in half from when we cut that pin bone. These are a bit bigger pieces, but that's all right. And any leftover meat will just be sashimi as well. So nothing is going to waste. We got these little bits here. So we'll just go in here and then the skin for the crabs and just like that that's why i love the kitchen you can never make a mess here it's perfect they're everywhere all right so now that we've got the steaks ready what we're going to do is just chuck them all in this bowl all of it and then we're going to get some flour i think last time someone said in the comments that i was pouring like my grandmother's ashes out it's not it's uh it's just a really old container. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's like, you're pouring your grandmother's ashes. I'm not, this is flour. No, not flour, this is breadcrumbs. So we'll just pour a considerable amount in there. Just like that. What we're gonna use is, you put salt and pepper in any other spice you want, but I've got garlic salt. We don't need salt and garlic salt. So this will be the substitute for salt with a bit of extra. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh, a bit of extra flavoring. Crack a bit of pepper in, can't go wrong with the pepper. Not too much, but we'll get that in. Now I brought a lemon and a lime. Now the lemon is gonna go on these fillets and the lime is gonna go with the sashimi, so that should be delicious. And the big cast iron pan, this is gonna cook the fish really well. So while that's cranking, so we wanna make sure it's all covered evenly. That's looking pretty good. I didn't bring oil this time, I thought we'll go with a really healthy option, and we use butter. <laughs> Gonna get all this butter in. So make sure your butter's melting all around. Wow, I've put a lot of butter in. Is that maybe too much? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's put this fish in. I was expecting more of a sizzle, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> is it cold? Good Lord, I hope this is up. Oh, wow. Just look at it though. Yeah, just mix that butter around. Look at that. Guys, come on. Here they go again. Every single time I try, I get a cinematic shot. Oh, man. Yeah, they're definitely ready to flip. Do you want right, to pop them around? Them. Chef Brooke. Oh, oh wow. Look how good that looks. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that one. Yes, the sun's finally poking through. Look at that. The shirts are still available. This is a faded blue Shawhawk tee. So if you want to grab one of these tees or tanks or even the stone wash, head over to shawhawk.co. The website's still running fine. And uh, yeah, you can order there and we'll send that off to you guys. So what do you think? Pretty fire. Pretty fire? Pretty so fire. fire. It's hot. It's that hot that it's... Take it off! Take it off! <laughs> it's burning! Oh, I think it's ready. Oh, man! Whew. I think these guys are almost ready. This bloke's definitely ready. Look, it's so tender, it's just falling apart. Last piece. So there you have it, guys. Crispy fried up school or spotted mackerel. We still don't know. I think it's school mackerel, but um, yeah, look at that. Okay, guys, so we got our two plates here. This doesn't look as pretty as I was hoping, but we got the soy sauce and the sashimi. And here we got the cooked steaks. Now the lemon is gonna go on these. Just like that. 
drowning. <laughs> Lime's gonna go on the sashimi. Ooh. Now, I'm gonna have a quick taste test of both and then we'll see what Brooke thinks. Covered in the lime, drench it in the soy sauce. That is so fresh. Even though we caught the fish yesterday, that is so fresh. Now I'm gonna take a quick bite of this. <sighs> that was beyond delicious, so Brooke. Oh no. You've been smashed. All right, cook in and then we'll hit the gas. It's so bad here today. I don't know why. You gotta try both Even for me. Even on my me. hands, how do I miss that? You gotta try both for me. I, I, do you know why I don't eat raw fish? It's cause you got like severe food poisoning from raw fish. From raw fish from about three weeks old. <laughs> this is, we caught this yesterday, you, you saw it. All right, have a bit of that. All right. Get out of town. That is so Can you so believe good. it? Cheers. We did well. All right, come it on. It actually tastes good. No! What about this little guy here? I don't think I can. Please, you won't regret it. Just a little piece. Dipping in the soy sauce. This is it. Mm. How good. Very good. How good. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of raw fish, but... <laughs> Man! Mmm. That's alright, I can have all the cooked stuff <laughs> Be honest though, did you like the sashimi? Yeah, it wasn't that bad, it just... It melts in your mouth, you're right. One's just cooked, one's raw. Mm -hmm. It tastes so different. It's crazy how you can get so much more fish from... Yeah, you... Like... No I wastage. It, like, no wastage at all. We've just mm. eaten, like... Yeah, it is so delicious. <clears throat> Down the hatch. That is done. Woo! Look at us go. Thanks for watching, guys. This was an epic episode. I'm so thrilled on my first um, Mackie. Like, I'm still frothing. Can't wait to go back and get more. So, let me know if you want to see me catch more. I'll see you in the next episode. Make sure you subscribe. Give the video a like if you want. Chuck us a comment. And, um, yeah, we'll see you on the next one.